a night on the tiles, Panama style. Central America is where John Darwin, canoe man, expected to vanish for good. Panama is cheap, hot and far away. It's certainly far away from his home in Seaton, Karoo. So what was he running away from? To find out, we've been in their apartment in Panama City, in the rooms he hid in, in Seaton, Karoo. We've traced their journeys across Central America, and we're sitting in Canoe Man's pride and joy. To understand what made John Darwin do a Reggie Perrin, look no further than his car. And this is it. This is Darwin's £48,000 Range Rover. He couldn't afford it. In fact, he told one friend he might have to do something drastic or they'd take it off him. It was central to his debts, his fear of losing face and his transformation into canoe man. In the 90s, John Darwin loved to give the impression of being wealthy with his initials on the number plate of a shiny Jaguar. But behind the smiles was a big problem. John Darwin loved spending money, but was hopeless at making it. So he came up with a plan. Having run up enormous debts through incompetence, he struck upon the brilliant idea of faking his death through a canoeing tragedy right here on the beach by his home. Anyone sensible, of course, would just have gone bankrupt, but that would have meant losing the house and the car. He chose to lose his freedom and his children instead. Using this birth certificate of a dead baby, he persuaded a Hartlepool librarian to help him get a new passport. He got a new signature and grew a big, bushy beard. And this is where he hid, inside the bedsits he owned next door to the family home. With his beard and his new identity, he was able to keep the house and the car. Then he decided to emigrate. By this time, the houses had been sold in Seton Carew. We traced the money to this HSBC bank in Panama City. By local standards, he was loaded. But his lies unraveled when this photo turned up on the internet. We followed in the Darwin's footsteps across Panama, from their first apartment to a town in the middle of nowhere. Locals recognized Canoe Man from our photos. They directed us to a patch of hostile scrub next to crocodile-infested waters. John Darwin planned to open a holiday complex there. Locals in the know say it would have been beyond him. Oh, never. Really a big job. Really a big job. I mean, that, they, have, they must have had no idea, but it, I'm talk, we're talking major investment. Having apparently got away with his scam, John Darwin arrived back in London and handed himself in, claiming to have lost his memory. But why? Did he lose the plot? Was he missing his sons? Did he hope, as he claims, to pay back the cash? Or was he worried the police were after him? John Darwin has made himself a figure of fun. He tried to keep what he couldn't afford, and now it's all gone. So did he need to keep this Range Rover when the debts were piling up? No, of course he didn't. It cost him a fortune. He was £65,000 in debt on credit cards when he decided to fake his death, but he kept this car. And, you know, as a final irony, we're right next to his house in the car park of the Staincliffe Hotel, and his nemesis, the Detective Superintendent Tony Hutchinson from Cleveland Police, who fronted the investigation into him, used to be a regular here. Gerard Tubbins, Seaton Carew, thank you.